how's it going everyone so ios 26 beta 9 is official release the reason why i'm laughing at beta 9 is due to the fact we haven't had a beta 9 since 2018 so it's quite incredible that apple decided to uh well it's interesting that apple decided there's need for a beta 9 typically at this point we should be seeing the rc variant the release candidate but unfortunately uh well it could be a pro and a con uh, we receive a beta 9 which means we got more stabilization not much like new features or anything like that that got truly integrated so along with this update other devices that also received the beta 9 update is ipad os 26 mac os tv os vision os and watch os the build numbers are on the side of the screen but those products also receive the beta 9 update as well and of course this is the default beta that we are covering, but in the next few hours or maybe the next day, the public beta will be released to everybody else who's enrolled for the public beta updates, but will be basically the exact same thing for the developer beta that we are covering in today's video. So again, we are covering Apple CarPlay side of things, and uh, the first new change I like to go ahead and go over can be actually located in your iPhone settings. You see, if you go into your iPhone settings and you go into general and then CarPlay, there's now a new highlight above the screen of instructions telling you how to enable wireless CarPlay by using your vehicle voice prompt, virtual voice assistant. Before, this is how it used to look like, and now it actually has like a nice little blue highlight showing you exactly what button to press. Now, another thing I noticed is if you use the Apple Music app as an example, the animation on the side over here is actually more bouncier than ever before which I thought was kind of interesting. But it still is the same similar liquid glass designs that we've seen in the past. Nothing crazy out of the ordinary here. But something I have noticed is if you go into your now track and you go into your like queue list, for some odd reason with beta 9 you could have both auto play and auto mix enabled. I'm gonna mess around with this and give you my feedback once we get the RC version but I'm not sure if that's a bug but that kind of looks like a bug to me. It's just interesting that I could have both of them enabled at the same time. Another thing I have noticed is when I'm screen recording using my iPhone, you know, using the camera on the paired iPhone on CarPlay, my head unit starts to lag. That's another weird thing that I just now noticed. Previously, I never had this laggy experience when I'm recording while CarPlay is enabled and navigating CarPlay, so uh, that's something I want to go ahead and highlight. So this leads me to believe that Beta 9 still is buggy even on Apple CarPlay, which is not a good sign. Additionally, other bugs we have covered in the past can be located in the phone app, but the pause and play, the call back, as well as go back 15 seconds, these icons, uh, they look out of whack. They do not follow the liquid glass design as you see right here. So interesting bugs that Apple isn't fixing. Another interesting bug is uh widgets so my car din screen is a double din this is like the standard back in an early uh 2020s i'll say uh past that they were getting long and stuff but this common side screen in this f-150 used to have the ability to run two widgets at the same time and to this very day even on beta 9 i can only run one i know longer screen vehicles can actually support up to two or more but this car at one point allowed me to use two and I'm still stuck with just one and that's with smart zoom enabled. And don't even get me started with YouTube. So a lot of articles and journalists discovered that in code on iOS 26, there's a potential chance that YouTube video streaming was coming to CarPlay. So long as the vehicle is in park, you were able to basically like cast your favorite YouTube videos basically how to pick that one. But by simply hitting the cast button, select AirPlay and then CarPlay, we were supposed to be able to actually watch YouTube videos on the screen of your current car. And even on Beta 9, that's still not here. So the support that uh, YouTube streaming doesn't seem like it's coming to be true because at this point I feel like it should have been here by now. But I'm gonna keep trying. I even put the vehicle in accessory mode. I still was unsuccessful on streaming video onto the screen of the car. For your best method, if you like to stream video on YouTube, on your vehicle screen, it's still recommended to use one of these like third-party 
adapters which allows you to watch YouTube videos on your vehicle. Additionally, the liquid glass animations also got redesigned for other things such as whenever you ask for like a scoreboard, what's the latest NBA score? The Pacers lost the NBA Finals four games to three against the Thunder. So it looks they like the last Burger scores. However, there still is no animated liquid glass animation for the weather card. Now another sh small change I also discovered is in settings. You see by going in settings, any of these toggles that uses like the on and off type of thing like the smart zoom. I'm going to go ahead and use the album artwork as an example. I have noticed that this animation is a lot snappier than previously so they kind of fine tweaked it again. I also want to say the liquid glass was also fine tweaked too because if we go into like Google Maps as an example of what I was using earlier and we go ahead and set destination somewhere and we hit start look at that the liquid glass even for third-party apps look extremely good now just unfortunately for Google Maps it's still not updated as you see right here the liquid glass doesn't really have that liquid glass design like compared to the exit as well as add stop the animation so it seems like Google's still working on it on their side same goes for ways too and unfortunately we still do not have the zoom pinch and zoom functionality on those third-party apps as well I already tried it with ways take my word for it it does not work but on Apple Maps of course we have the amazing pinch and zoom functionality even when navigation is uh, running and I find this extremely useful especially when you're driving and you zoom out to make sure there isn't traffic. That's how I typically utilize it, which is much better than having to fiddle with the plus and minus like we used to. But again, unfortunately, the pinch and zoom functionality isn't yet available on third-party apps as the time making this video. I'm hoping that those third-party apps that use Google Maps a lot as well gets that pinch and zoom functionality. But so yeah, once more, your best bet if you like to watch like YouTube videos. In your vehicle's existing screen like I have right here, your uh, safe bet is to just pick up one of these third party thingies and continue using that. In the meantime, if you absolutely want this, I don't know why I selected him out of all the videos, but just a video example of how I'm able to currently watch YouTube videos, especially when I have little ones in the backseat, keeping them entertained, utilizing this big screen while I continue driving, and the missus make sure the kids are all happy. Other than that, there you guys have it as a quick update of everything you need to know on Beta 9 on iOS 26, Apple CarPlay side of things, on all new changes and interesting bugs that they uh, that it still continues to have. Again, I hope Apple resolves all this because next week is typically when the RC version gets released. In other words, that's the official complete version that's coming out to the public for everybody else. In other words, it's no longer going to be a beta. And of course, on September 9th, it's typically when we're going to see the official release when iOS 26 will be available for everybody else with the exact release date. Anyways, there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see the complete rundown on all new changes as well as settings that Apple integrated on this latest version of Apple CarPlay. I cover it all in rare detail in that video over there. Thank you so much for watching.